Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome to Jurassic Park, the Super Nintendo version. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Let's see here. That's jump. That's the zappy zaps. And that's the pickups. Excellent. Got it. All right. Which means if I do this button. There we go. All right. So, uh, very fun game. Not very, I wouldn't say very fun game. It'd be more appropriate to call it a very, uh, a very enduring game. Because it's a very long game to play with a, uh, I hate the compies. Go away, Raptor. Oh, okay. Hello, Raptor. Ah. Got it. We're already in danger. That's okay. We got health. Boop. Boop. For anybody who's like used to watch, uh, familiar with the, uh, the American Truck Sim game, uh, playthroughs I've been, uh, gameplays I've been doing before, uh, they'll recognize some, a lot of the music tracks I used to do here. Right on. So you have many different objectives. Uh, our first objective is to restore power. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, but like a major objective that we also have to do is we have to uh, collect like these 18 raptor legs. Let's do Grant. Grant. Yes. Collect the eggs. Grant. And that's our job. Turn on the power. I hate the compies. Stop, stop being so annoying. All right, so let's go get some eggs. This is the helipad. We have a big old island to work with. Boom. So our little bolas there do a lot of like insta-killing things. We do have rocket launchers and stuff like that. Uh, the difference between a rocket launcher and a... Uh, The difference between a rocket launcher and a uh, shotgun is uh, shotguns leave bodies behind. Uh, shotguns leave bodies behind and take several more shots, whereas uh, whereas the uh, the rocket launcher just kills everything in one shot. Bullets do the exact same thing. There's tear gas as well, but. What are you gonna do? It's 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 annoying to deal with respawning enemies. Go away, Raptor. So I'll pick up whatever ammo I can. Uh, everything stays dead in this game, so once you kill it, it's dead forever. Except for Raptors on the outdoor areas, and you cannot kill the T-Rex. The T-Rex is invulnerable. You can shake it off through with the tranquilizer darts, but that's about it. The inner areas. So it's like two shotgun shells for a uh, Dilophosaurus and three for a Raptor. Oh, uh, whoops. We can't do anything. Yes. The power is off. That's what that was telling us. Oh, yes, they will try to attack you through walls. Ooh. What are Dilophosaur doing in here? I don't remember them being in here in the movie. How to turn on the power, approach it, boom, power is on. 
Now we gotta go restore the power systems. Right. Oh yes, if you go in those dark areas, you will die immediately. Doesn't matter how much health you got. You will die. Um, all ammo, everything, all items will respawn inside here, so that's great if you want to restock on stuff and you know how to easily access it. Chicken legs do a little bit of healing. Sorry for the flashing. It's just the way it is. But up. And the difference between Ebola's and the, um... Rocket launcher is the rocket launcher... Oh, hello. The rocket launcher will blow up and kill one dinosaur. The bolas will keep flowing all the way until it hits a wall or an obstacle, so that's nice. So generally speaking, like, the most OP thing to do is just get bolas and get rocket launchers and win. I want to go in, please. Tear gas is lame. Yeah, none of these dinosaurs will ever respawn. They're dead forever. All right. Boop. Raptors will not attack unless you shoot at them. Uh-huh, I'm sure they won't. Your motion sensor would be good with the computers rebooted. The motion sensor is a little radar device down there. Grunt. Grunt. The nice thing, though, is uh, those motion sensors here are... Uh, they act as, like, little save points. So if you die, you will, uh, you will spawn there. No way. You're dead. You are dead. Ah, uh, one of my favorite tracks. Ooh. That rap that Dilophosaurus is dead forever. Have confidence, just keep running. If you get spat on by a Dilophosaur, your controls are reversed for about a few seconds or so. That's about it. Is there anything over here? Tear gas. Oh, uh, I don't know if you noticed that R there earlier, just south of the shed. Uh, you'll find a bunch of letters randomly scattered throughout the game. And if you uh, collect them all, they actually spell out uh, Dr. Horner, or yeah, Dr. Horner. Uh, Jack Horner, one of the uh, consultants uh, Michael Crichton had when uh, used for uh, for writing in the book of Jurassic Park. Go away, you're all dead now. I am wasting rocket launcher ammo on compies and it feels good. All right, so we go turn on the power at the visitor center, but uh, yeah, the visitor center is kind of like um, on lockdown right now. The, 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 the computer we need to access is currently uh, locked behind a door. We need to go get the key for that. We need to go get Dennis Nedry's key. Now you're dead. I'm just looking for eggs. This is not the correct path to take. I'm here for eggs. Okay, that's the wrong way. I need to go up. This is the way I need to go. That's fine. Avoid getting electrocuted. Out of rocket launchers. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's, a th that's it. That is one downside. The bolas will not... You need to use, like, uh... Rocket launchers and, um... 
shotguns or even your little laser cannon in order to actually trigger the little uh, padlock thingies there, nothing else will work. Hmm, I must have missed it somewhere. It's a bit of a maze over here. There it is. Thank you. I should have kept going. That's what I needed to do. Yes. Ah! This is not good. It's fine. See, I touched it before I died, which means I get to respawn here. And as you see, the packies don't, they don't respawn. Okay, that one respawned for some reason. Tim, that's the one thing I hate about this. They will give you advice and it will obscure your vision. <laughs> Oh, yes, Tim. Thank you for the hint on how to fight Dilophosaurus. It's so nice. Ah, oh, see, I was so close to health. <laughs> well, that's medkit there for later, I guess. There's spawning mechanisms down pat. Is this the way? Yeah, this is the way. This is the way we want to go. Run like crazy. Tim, that is not good advice. 12 eggs left. Better just let it roll right on by. <laughs> I forgot that I was pressing the wrong button. I was trying to use my bolas, and what happened was, uh, I kept pressing that button. I kept pressing that button. Thankfully, I don't have to kill these Dilophosaur again. They're dead forever. I guess some things do respawn. Other than the raptors. Rawr! Tim, stop obscuring my screen. Alright, my key's on my butt my finger is on the correct button on the controller. There we go. I remember there used to be a challenge, I think, in uh in an Nintendo Power Up issue, I remember. They're like issuing out a challenge. What's the lowest score you can get when you beat the game? And now by you think to yourself, well, how do I get a low score? Because every single time you kill it, every single time you kill a rap, uh, a dinosaur, uh, your score goes up, and that's the thing. Your score goes up only when you kill a, a dino. If you uh. If you a uh, if you use the tranquilizer darts and the tear gas, uh, you don't actually kill the dinosaurs. You just uh, you KO them. <clears throat> so uh, if long as you're using those two items, they will be temporarily out of commission. Oh, 
Oh, hello. I'll take that. Maybe it was another one. I thought this was the one that had one on top. The roof. Uh, an egg. Who knows? I don't know. I forget. Kenner! Yeah, we need here for uh, Nedry's uh, ID card. I forget. I don't remember. I just know it's in here. Let's see. That's all I have. The Lophosaurus love being stationary sentries in the indoor areas. Raptors love patrolling and getting in your face. So for, ra for, for, for Dilophosaurus, as long as you're keeping your distance, you're fine. There it is. Nedry's ID card. Fantastic. Honestly, I don't find these areas to be that big of a maze. Um, the worst place would probably be the, uh, the raptor nest at the end of the game. I hate that area. It's so easy to get lost in there. Oh, oh shotgun shells. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry about the blinking. The blink. It's hurting my eyes too. Nom noms. Check your corners. Excellent. That goes downstairs. We don't need to go down there yet. We need other things first. Down to two lives. If I die here, then it's uh, it's kind of game over. I'll have to start from the very beginning, and that's not good. Thankfully, there's an area where we can just farm extra lives very easily, along with uh, rocket launcher ammo. Bye. Rawr. And that's how you beat the raptor. I mean the triceratops. The triceratops. It has only one move to run it directly at you. Thank you, Tim. It's better to just kill them than try to run because, you know, you might die anyways. There's supposed to only be eight Velociraptors on the island. Why are they spawning like crazy? Yeah, they will cycle through that sometimes. Bow. Stop giving me useless advice. Honestly, I wish they would just give you messages when you approach the... Uh, Yeah, just kill them. Just kill them. I've tried not killing them, and it never ends well. It never ends well. There we go. The bridge is extended. I'm just coming here for an egg real quick. This guy here. Eleven eggs remain. I hate how swapping weapons is such an out of the way button for me. Select is so out of the way. Oh no. I've been spat upon. Ah! That's what I need. Come here, you. You're so brave earlier. Now where you at? There's the second R. Ha ha. I have 
the low ground. You may have the high ground, Dilophosaurus, but you can't hit me from up there if you're just spitting. <laughs> uh. Honestly, like, my favorite part of the game is, like, it's not even, like, the gameplay or anything like that. I really love the music of this game. It's really good, in my opinion. I love the soundtrack. Alright, we need to go to the roof. We're gonna go to the roof first. Yeah, food does a little bit of healing, but uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's uh, first aid kits do max heal. Bum, bum, bum. Top floor. One of the best areas to stock up on bolas and uh, bolas and uh, rocket launcher ammo and get healing. Stupid compies. We're up here to get this ID card. Run. We need that for the first floor to get Dr. Grant's ID card. I requested three weapons. Oh, there's the H. I requested three weapons and they only gave me one. You just can't kill our dinosaurs. They're very expensive, I'll have you know. Yes. Ten eggs left. Fantastic. Alright. Back up. Wait, where's my health? There's the health. Boop, 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 boop. Right, now we're gonna go to the second floor. Restore the pa restore the systems. B is that one. Uh, I'm trying to remember by 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 memory. Indoors, uh. The Lophosaurus don't really do anything. It just reduces your health. Rawr. See? You just take some damage. Fall off. It's an incubation center. You bred raptors? Yes. See? Raptor dead and the dillo's dead, as opposed to uh, just the raptor, if I used my uh, rocket launcher. Reboot the main system. <coughs> uh, park control. Uh, I don't... Yeah, we can turn on that. Uh, thank you. Now my radar works. Gate operation. Um... Huh. Let's see here. Let me check my notes real quick. I gotta figure out where I get certain ID cards. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so everything here should be fine for now. What do I get at the the beach one? Oh, okay, I got it. I got it now. Okay, I had to make sure. I had to verify. Okay, we don't need to do anything else here, I think. Yeah, we're good. To my right. Thank you. Ooh. I found some food. Too bad for you. Alright, uh, I think Dr. Woos- yeah. We need Dr. Woos card for that run. Just health, okay. Uh, I'm looking for something. Oh. That's exactly why I was looking around, because I was expecting like, okay, I need I need the uh the night vision goggles. The battery. It's really weird. You pick up the you, you pick up a battery for each separate building. Funny, isn't it? Rawr. Maybe I pick it up on the first floor. Because I'm pretty sure we need it in order to get Dr. Grant's card. That's the exit. <laughs> What's a raptor doing in the kitchen? Ooh. And we need Hammond's key to open this door. Grant's card isn't here, but we need the night vision goggles. But oh dearie me. Oh dearie me, where are we gonna get those goggles? Oh, bullets, nice. I think they're down here. I think so. To the control room! Nah. Ah. Over here? Nope. Yeah, we need, uh, we need Grant's card for the, uh, the raptor pen of all places. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it's I know it's a video game. I know it's a video game, but I find it silly that you need. We need to get ID cards for. We're gonna lock off important areas of our of our uh, research facility of our of our theme park here <laughs> with ID cards for various uh for for for, for our. Uh, it's stupid. it's stupid. I get it. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. Excellent. Boop -da -boom, ba -da -boom. Boop -da -boom. And what do we have over here? I think it's just healing and weapons.
Just weapons. I have two more things of rocket launcher ammo. Great! Bwomp. I honestly think this is more of a surprise than anything else. Because I promised, I never promised a Jurassic Park game playthrough. <laughs> I promised everything else, and I was like, I was thinking to myself, I want to play Jurassic Park. Die, Raptor. I have my own ID card. Why I didn't have it on me, the world may never know. Yeah, that's about the annoying thing is that you have to, if you pick up something else, you have to go re pick up, up what you wanted. So easy to accidentally grab what you uh, don't want. Remember, you keep your rocket launcher ammo and your medical kits in the freezer. And always attach your freezer to a dining area and not your actual kitchen. Guess won't mind. All right. Let's tap this. Thank you. Grunt. Find out how the raptors are getting in and stop them. Grunt. Touch the fence for a free life. How about no? Grunt. I know that. Grunt. Right. Uh, give me just a moment here. All right. I need to check my notes again. Uh. Right. I need that in the... And then I need to go there for the boat. That's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I need to get secure... I get security clearance too on the boat. And where do I need it? On the boat. You're dead. Now we're just going to do some quick exploration here for any Aggies. Mr. Grunt. Mr. Grunt. I don't think there's anything back here. Oh, health kit. Now we need to climb this mountain here. I went the wrong way. Yeah, make sure you're careful. You don't get hit by that spit. I guess the egg's on the other. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Just just trick them from going down so that we don't get squashed, because getting squashed by a boulder is instant death. I did it again. I pressed I pressed the pickup button instead of the actual uh Here's the raptor pen. <clears throat> I 
Alright. So that's the fence that, that's blocking off the, uh... Uh, that's where we go and pick up. That's where the raptor nest is. Hello, sir. Have a nice day. Nothing. All right. That uh, that computer is nice for, I guess, if you need to change your fence. But otherwise, nothing. Uh, we're not going to get off on this floor because... Uh, you can get Ian's card over here, but we need to get the, um, the night vision goggles first. <clears throat> and we get those later on in this area. We're also going to get Robert Muldoon's key card as well. Ow. Oh, hello, there you are. I didn't see you there. I thought you were over here. <laughs> uh, there's a door that requires security one clearance. And uh, we're not going to be able to get that for a while. We don't even need it for a while. We need to clear out the... Uh... Hey, look, there it is. You know, it's not that far. It's not that far. Let's just go get Ian's card. That way we don't have to worry about walking all the way back over here, because when we leave this place, um, we'll be all the way back at the visitor center. And that means we have to run all the way back over here, go down the elevator, get the card, go back in the elevator, go back up it, and then go wherever we, we actually need to go. So yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure we get a one up here as well. No. I'm thinking somewhere else. But now we have Ian's card. We don't have to come back here to this particular room to get it. Fantastic. Shoot ha! Shoot ha! Sorry, my teeth are bleeding underneath my chin. It happens. How far in? Oh, 40 minutes, huh? See, that's the nice thing. I can just go in the elevator, go up a floor, come back down, boom. This stuff already resupplies. Thankfully, the dinosaurs don't respawn. <laughs> that's the nice thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is the door that requires clearance. Uh, we use that. We, there's a computer console in there that we need to use in order to uh, tell the boat to not go to the mainland. Super lucky! You gotta check your corners for up. Uh, well, I wouldn't say upgrades. I mean uh, ammo. Ammo is always nice to have. More rocket launcher. Oh, Bola's right there. See? See? That's why I check. That's why I check the corners. You gotta check the corners. Yeah, for the most part, most of the indoor areas are pretty uh, straightforward. Pretty straightforward. There's only like two areas you're gonna really doing some severe exploration. That is going to be the boat. 
That's the boat, and that's gonna be the raptor nest. So I like to explore. I'm addicted. I'm a dungeon delver. Explore your world. Hello. I'm already here. Wow. I'm good. I don't think I need anything else over here. Forget about it. Thinking about it, I think Robert's... I, Molden's card might be on this level. I would hate to, like, bypass it and then be like, Oh, I forgot to... I didn't grab it, did I? Yeah, I think we only have Ian's, yeah. So let's check this floor to make sure I actually get... Yeah, we need that. Uh, it's not an important immediate need, but we definitely needed it. Yeah, we need it to uh, get... Uh, there's a... When we go to the, uh, the raptor nest, we need to drop off some nerve gas. We need to drop off some nerve gas, and, uh, yeah. The nerve gas is at the northern utility shed, but the the actual nerve gas is, uh, the, the area where the nerve gas actually is located is, uh, blocked off by, uh, keycard needing Robert's badge. Ooh. All right. Night vision goggles. Well, this is nice. I needed health. Who's gonna say no to free ammo? And of course, I'll naturally take an extra life. An extra life's always nice. Makes sense to me. Sometimes I just happen to have the knack for finding the exit before I find everything that I want to actually do. Like, oh no, now I gotta explore all the dead- I have to backtrack and explore all the dead ends. Woe is me! Meanwhile, people can't even find the exit in the first place. Man. Well, you got all the luck. Yeah, sometimes the uh, the weapon aiming is a bit finicky. Look both ways before you cross the street. Hmm. 
This is fine. Well. Yeah, honestly, if I was to say biggest down, like, like there's a couple downsides to this game. Number one, uh, the lack of a save system. Considering how much time you have to invest in this game, you have to and you have to beat it in one sitting. Yeah, <clears throat> it would have been nice to at least have one, even one save would have been nice. Being able to save once would be nice. Nope. Uh, second downside is... Uh, what would I actually say is a downside? If you want, you can go in here before you push the box. If you do that before you push the box, uh, I think there's like a couple one-ups in there and a whole bunch of ammo, but there's also a bunch of raptors. What else is the downside? I'd probably have to say like how much of a maze the areas can be. Can I go back in there? Access denied. See, unfortunately, I mean technically you can get that if you really wanted to, but considering where we are and what our objectives are, I don't think anybody's ever... I wonder actually if it is possible. I wonder if somebody's ever actually done a, a run through where they actually go to the boat and get Ellie Sattler's ID card and then come back all the way through here in order to... Uh... And and, and, and and trap the raptors that way. I wonder if anybody's ever actually done a, a, a run that way. Because that's the real reason why Ellie Sattler's card is mostly useless, because you go to the boat... You, you, you go to the boat uh, after this. Because you have to go to the boat and... Uh, tell it... Uh, kill all their dinosaurs on top of the boat. Not on the boat, in the boat. And honestly, that's where the biggest time sink is. Killing all the dinosaurs in the boat. You found rocket launcher ammo. Good for me. These halls are clear. Alright. I'm just going to double check and make sure that that is my next objective. <clears throat> Because I do have to go do some other stuff real quick. Grunt. Right. Grunt. All right. Let me check my notes here real quick. All right, level one. Yeah, where do I find that card? On the boat. Okay. In the meantime, yep, I need to go back over there, <clears throat> and then I need to go there to get that card in order to make access to, uh... yep. All right. Quick detour. If you shoot them, they stampede. They stampede if I walk close by. Um, there we go. Run. I know, I know. I am aware of these things. I need to go down this way first though. Quick detour. 
We're heading back over here because we need to get uh, Gennaro's card. And uh, we need Gennaro's card in order to get... And then after we get Gennaro's card, we're going to head over and... Uh, Preemptive stuff. I thought there would be a packy there. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of bit of running around. Uh, we need to come over here to this. Co uh, shed to get Gennaro's card, and then we need to go all the way back over to the very first shed. The power shed um, in order to grab the uh, Ray Arnold's key card because we need his ID card on the boat. So in order to prevent going all the way to the boat and being like, oh crap, we need to come back and get a uh, Ray Arnold's card. I'm just going to come over here and do it simple. Wait. Oh, hello. I gone the wrong way. We were supposed to turn right. I was supposed to turn to the right. This is the direction I need to go. Down the hall and turn left. There's the elevator. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, that sucks. I have to go. I, I, I wrote down the wrong direction. I wrote down the wrong direction. So we have to come back here again. Sorry. We have to come back over here. <clears throat> Or do we? I'm going to look around regardless. I'm going to make sure that that's it. I don't want to run all the way back, get over to the beach shed, and then be like, oh, oops. Is this the beach or is this Nublar? Okay. I thought that was the Nublar shed. My fault. I mixed up my sheds. I thought that was the Nublar shed. My bad. Well, this is going to add about another, what? 15 hours? Oops. Sorry about that. My bad. Maybe I should have had a crude map. And be like, this shed is over here. This shed is over here. <coughs> What's over here? Oh, an extra life. Nice. See, motion sensor comes in handy. Let you know where certain items are hidden. In plain sight. What's up here? So the good news is, uh, the good news is that this just means we can lock off this gate here now and uh, not have to worry about coming back to it Grant. until the end game.
fantastic. No! Bad compy. I told you I got their that I got I, I've memorized their spawning points. there oh maybe it was this roof nope I came I saw I was disappointed not completely disappointed but uh yeah this is where we are Is the elevator over here? No. The elevator's over here. There it is. Great. <clears throat> Go there. What's over here? Yeah, the reason it's good that we can lock this area off, the southern end is uh, I'll be able to, uh, hello. I'll be able to uh, unlock the northern shed area and we can just go over there and get the, uh... we'll be able to get the egg. The, we'll, we'll grab the eggs up there and grab the uh, the nerve gas, and then we can lock that off because we don't even need to go up there for any other reason. The only reason to go up to the northern sh utility shed is strictly to get the nerve gas and uh, any eggs over there. I don't think there's actually anything else over here. Double kill. Hooray! Bit of a refund on our rocket launchers and bolas. All right. Sometimes the easiest way to move forward is by backing, is moving backwards. <laughs> Turning around and walking backwards. Sorry, getting fresh beverage. <coughs> All right, let's go. I'm pretty sure there's a computer over there I should be able to access to uh, switch the gate that's unlocked. No, thank you. All right. If not, we can just drop by the visitor center real quick. No big deal. Run. Sorry for the detour. I, for, I I honestly thought that... I would have thought that the southern one was the beach one. Because it is technically 
a beachy area. If you ask me. Oh. I'm getting lost. It's fine. I know where I'm going. I just need to reconfigure myself. There we go. That's my tip. Over here, that's shotgun. Blammo. That's the trank dart. <clears throat> that's the triceratops. And that's gas canister. We go. Yes. What is over here? Oh, shotgun shells. Got it. I was curious. Yeah, if I had been paying attention, I would have been like, oh yeah, this is the beach utility shed. Yeah, the ID card, yeah, the ID card hunt is also kind of annoying. It, it's like... I understand they're trying to extend the length of the game, but it's kind of annoying <coughs> regardless. That'd be my only other con. Other than maybe a lack of a map, but you know, I could care less about a map. Except for like the raptor pen. The raptor, not the raptor pen, the uh, the raptor nest area. That'd be like the one thing I wish I had a map for. To the left. I don't remember if we grabbed that. And I don't want to risk going in there and dying. Oh, right behind me. Thankfully, there's a bit of a delay between the actual button press. There's a delay in the actual button press and when the rocket actually launches. There it is. See, I knew it. I knew it. And this is where Ray Arnold's one is. Vultures. All right. We no longer need to come down to the southern tip of the island until the end game. So... Part of me wants to go up the, on the up floor and see, like, hey, is there a computer up there I can make use of? And change it to the, uh, the top left area. So that way I can grab all the eggs and the... Um, The egg's in the nerve gas, and then I don't have to worry about it at area anymore. We're already an hour in, nice. That's the exit. Food. Hmm. I 
probably already explored this. Which is why there's a huge lack of actual uh, dinosaurs to kill. Yay! There is one. Fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you. <sighs> no. Sometimes... It's very annoying because sometimes you uh, accidentally rub your face up against the computer and it's like, oh, you want to interact with me again? Like, no, I do not. Anyways, we're also done with this corner of the park. This area is done. Well, you can run away from the T-Rex. Do not stop. He will nom you. He will nom you. You can't hurt him in any way. I love this track. It's a, it's a shame there's only two areas you use it in. That right there and the only other area on the island where the T-Rex is. Oh well. Go away, Raptor. So we don't have to come down here anymore. We still have to go to that one area over there where we close the gate. But uh, that's not, as I said, that's going to be the end game after we call the helicopter to come save us. So let's head up north, grab the nerve gas and uh, all the eggs up there so we don't have to go up to that section of the park anymore. Yes, their bit is poisonous. stop doing that where I press the pickup button instead of the actual uh instead of my actual attack buttons I mean it doesn't help that my hand feels so big on the controller There's that egg there that we need to get. I'm just doing a preliminary check of the area. All right, nothing over here. This is all sealed off. That's sealed off. You're dead now? You're dead now. Eight eggs left. Why run away from the Triceratops when I can just walk around? There might be a raptor trigger going the opposite way. Bam. Bam. 
if you see a raptor, kill a raptor. And now you're dead. All right, we hit the edge. We're gonna go into the fencing area now and uh, visit the shed, grab any eggs over there, and be on our way. Seven left. So we got the ones over by the boat. Uh, the ones over by the... Uh, Look, I don't care if I waste them. There's the N. And we have the ones over by the raptor nest, where we haven't gotten anything. Six. Six left. I think there's one more in this area. to stop the raptors from escaping on the boat. Do it now. Alright. All of them are dead. Nerve gas time. Alright, we'll go left. Alright, well, we know where the elevator is now. <coughs> now, when it comes to each new building, Inside area, you gotta remember, except for one, except for the raptor nest, you have to find, uh, you always have to find the, um, Uzi Blabbits, the, uh, night vision goggle battery. It's generally a good idea to do that. Because the last thing I want to do is get to an area... Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Not going to question it. Not going to question it. Because Lord knows the quest item that you need in an area is probably either the quest item or the... Um... Oh, hi. Nice quest item or an ID card is locked away in a room like that. Oh no! You need this item to fulfill your mission? Guess you'll just have to go find the night vision goggles. <clears throat> Alright. And with that, once we go grab the nerve gas, we'll be done over here. We should theoretically not have to come back to this side of the island as well. <laughs> we'll go down to over to the uh, the boat next. Start doing that mission. Nope. Oh, 
weapon. Yeah, so I always have to say the large amount of fetch quests you gotta do a lot of backtracking just for <coughs> just for ID cards is annoying. They could <coughs> they could have probably streamlined it a bit more, if you ask me. But hey, I'm not a game developer. Back in the 90s, what do I know? It's the nerve gas. I think this is the only area. This might be the only area where you have uh, infinite respawning uh, tranquilizer darts. So you'd literally have to come over here all the time and farm up those trank darts in order to get a low, the, the lowest possible score. I wonder if the trank darts count as killing the dinosaurs on the boat, though. I don't know. Our job here is done. <clears throat> All right. Music, please. There we go. Yeah, it's so interesting how uh, no items in the op on this overworld will actually uh, respawn. But they always respawn in the middle of the, uh, in all buildings. I mean, it's a nice way of making sure that the player doesn't get stuck. Off to the boat. Sometimes the music gets a little quirky. And navigating the corners on this, on the mountaintops, is a little quirky as well. Drink dart. here to get the uh there we go get the egg five left so i think there's one on the boat which will make it four and then there's one over but near the helipad spawn area and that'll be uh Secret area. Remember I said there was an easy area to farm level ups? It's right over here. Ammo, bolas. To be fair, I should have just ran straight through that. 
And here's the D for Dr. Horner. And an extra life. So yeah, that's an easy area to, this is just an easy area to farm up uh, weapons, ammo, and uh, extra lives, if you're so inclined. I don't judge, I've, I've abused it. I have abused that a lot. <coughs> Trank dart. Uh, another one of my favorite tracks. La 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 la. Bop, 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 bop. It's a shame in the game you actually have to sit here for a while to let it play out. You don't just actually get to uh, enjoy it for the area it's actually in for the most part. There's a shotgun ammo and Yes, I know Three eggs remaining Dr. Grunt What was that? Shotgun shells If you're feeling brave, you can jump it. I'm not that brave, though. And then you want to come up here, because guess what? <coughs> Eggies. Eggies. Two eggs left, and they're over up at the top and near the raptor nest. All right. So the nice thing is it does tell you how many, uh... Seventeen dinos left. Weird. I'm just going to go ahead and preemptively uh, do this. <coughs> yes, thank you. Approaching an hour and a half. Yeah, this is annoying because we have to explore the entire ship. For dinos. And you'll have rooms like that. There's nothing in it. Oh well. I like how sometimes the raptors will jump at you. And other times they'll just do their little patrol route. Bitch you! Just give me my shotgun ammo, please. It's all I want. nice enough to let you know. I do love that. By the way, this is how many raptors are left on the ship. On this floor, anyways. Oh, 
Why? So that way I don't have to pick it up again. I should basically be doing that. I should do it that way. That's how I should be doing it. <clears throat> then I can't accidentally pick it back up. Right? I can't spam the gas grenades like that, though. That sucks. Hey! Just another reason why we have to explore. We need that night vision goggles, right? clear. Yeah, the last time I played this, I forgot to go grab all the uh, Gennaro's card and get Ray's card, and then I came all the way to the ship and I hit the point where it's like, you need Ray Arnold's ID card in order to proceed from here. I'm like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> Where's Ray Arnold's card? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I'll go grab it. You don't have Gennaro's card. What? You need to go get that. Okay, well, where is Gennaro's card? Over here. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you use shotgun or rocket launcher. You have more shotgun shells, but it also takes more shotgun shells to kill stuff. Every floor must be cleared. Seven. Got it. gave yourself away. cars and other objectives are going to be in night vision rooms. Anyways, we need uh, we need Henry Wu's card because what we're going to do next is we're going to have to go to the uh, the visitor center and request security clearance level one. We need that in order to get to the raptor pen. And uh, use the computer that tells the com that tells the boat not to go anywhere. Fourteen on this level. I think I usually go right. Okay. 
Hello, shotgun shells. I'll grab you if I really need you. Kit right about now. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Oh, yeah, dead end. back to the, uh, the elevator that brought us down here. Nope, this way. Elevator's right here. Hey. Great. We do have to backtrack anyways. Fantastic. Oh well. So, about security clearance. I need level one first. I'm pretty sure that's a computer that will give us level two access. I just need level one first, so. I found a rocket launcher. So we have to go backtrack anyway. Oh well. It's fine. You caught me off guard that time, Raptor. I'm just here for the uh, ammo. That's it. All right.
Not so clever, girl. Ha ha. All right, game, make up your mind. Which track do you want? It's a little funky. So security level one, we need to go to the visitor center. And uh, second floor, where you need to go to that room that uh, was blocked off from us because we needed Henry Wu's ID card. <clears throat> So yes, artificial, artificially lengthening the game. I hate this bit. This way. This door. How many doors do we have to go past? Yes. Yes. Yes is the answer. Yay. Welcome to the laboratory. We have snacks. Because, you know, we totally fought a whole cadre of dinosaurs coming through all of these doors that completely burned through that one medkit we picked up on the way through here. Right? Right? Remember them? All that, all that rocket launcher ammo I just picked up. Yay! <clears throat> I'm wondering... I'm gonna take a quick detour. I'm not gonna go right back to the boat. I wanna take a quick detour. See if I can do something. Since we have level one security now. And it is part of our objective. Technically. It is technically our objective. Then we'll head back to the boat. Down. Down. Exit. <coughs> Left. Forward. Until we see the door on our right. Communications. Ship comms. 
Fantastic. We don't have to come back here anymore. Excuse me, I just want to leave. I want to leave without rubbing my face up against the computer again. Because, don't you know, Grant hates computers? I hate computers. The feeling's mutual. Give it a few more years and we won't even, and we won't even have to dig anymore. Well, where's the fun in that? We spared no expense in artificially lengthening this game. That makes sense. I'm fine with that. Needing security level one to make sure not anybody can just tell the boat to where to go. But, like, why do you need to go have security clearance on the boat and have to first get cleared on the in the visitor center? <laughs> Whatever. It's a video game. It's operating on video game logic. We know this. Yeah, honestly, the gameplay is okay. The objectives are all right. They make sense in context, but the uh, the fetch quests of ID cards and stuff like that is very annoying. Going after the raptor eggs makes sense as well. That's fine. A little collection quest. I don't I don't I don't mind. But just all the backtracking, just to get ID cards to open certain doors. Very annoying. But the music is awesome. I really love the music. You have a rocket launcher and ammo. Oh yeah, I guess I guess how how the whole ammo thing here is very annoying. That's also annoying. All right, I think he. This is where we get security clearance too. I'm gonna. I don't remember if there was another computer on this floor, but I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check. Checking. Gotta spot your corners. You never know, there might be a computer hidden around the, in a corner. Could be stashed, pretty out of sight.
All right. It might be on that, uh... I'm gonna guess it's on the, uh, either... The floor where we found Henry Wu's ID card, or it was on the actual floor that was like, By the way, you need security clearance level 2. It's one of those. It's one of those floors. They wouldn't put another computer over here, would they? Yeah, that makes no sense. Then again, there are some very questionable uh, things that happen in this game. Oh, you know what? We felt like, uh, you know, maybe. Yeah, the weapon change system, these fetch quests, finding the special computer you need to access. Very poor decisions. Very, very bad, in my opinion. All right, not this. I have to check. I have to check. Otherwise, if I don't, you know what? It'll be where I did not check. And it'll be very annoying. And sure, I could quickly just do a quick online search, but you know, I don't want to do that. I thought it'd be simple. Okay, it's not over here. It's the next floor down. <sighs> Cause I wrote down notes to make sure I knew exactly, like not exactly for the security clearance. Security two clearance, I was just like, oh, we need it on the boat. You find it on the boat, and you need it for the boat. This is so dumb. That's so dumb. What a pointless waste of time. I think it's faster to go back this way, I believe. <clears throat> So dumb. Thirty on this floor. That's fine. Which means every room's gonna be packed to the gills.
Come on, Raptor. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Okay, we did get it. Triple kill. God for this med kit. All right. Wow, we start with 30 and we're already down to eight, aren't we? Seven. Wow, 23 versus fast. And this floor is clear. Fantastic. That one wasn't too bad, considering. Honestly, the worst part was just how close to death I was. It would have been annoying to have to go all the way back, th traverse the entire boat again. 13. This one's kind of annoying because of all the little rooms. Hey, guess whose ID card that is? If you said Ellie's, you're a winner, baby. All these little side rooms and stuff. Because this is supposed to be, I guess, like the, the bunk area. There's a computer on this floor we need to come back to after we uh, do the nerve gas. Uh, because it allows us to, it, 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 it's what we call to get the, uh, the helicopter from the mainland. Hey, guess what? We found that computer. It's right there. left huh I hate rooms like this I do if you're gonna have a room in a game like this I don't care if there's no enemies at least put like an item or something in there even if it's like something as stupid as like a simple thing of meat or or like yeah yeah like that give me something like that don't just have a room to exist for no reason. I hate when they do that. Night vision room? Yeah. Yeah, that was LA's ID card that we picked up. You know, the one that would allow us to uh, enter the Raptor pen from the visitor center. 
shame we don't need it. ship is free of dinos. Hooray! I heard a noise I did not like. <sighs> this one. All right, our current objective now is to go uh, drop the nerve gas, go, go to the raptor nest and drop off this present of nerve gas. And uh, yeah. Close call. We'll also get the last two raptor eggs from up there. And uh, mission complete. We are approaching the two hour mark. You know, I was kind of thinking like what the difference is between like say if I was streaming the game as opposed to just recording this video instead. <clears throat> and what I come up with is just like, you know, the difference between streaming and uh, a video is that, like a video, you can easily stop the video and come back at any time and not miss out on anything. You can pick up right where you left off. You can't really do that with a stream. With a stream, you have to, uh, like, when you leave a stream, it'll automatically jump you to the end so you'd have to like scroll along the timeline until you find the spot where you were actually like last off and also you can't like start at the beginning of a stream so if you like pop into a stream midway um yeah that's all you got you just have to work from there um whereas a video you can't you can just you start at the beginning you always start at the beginning and you just go you just roll on through But the thing that uh, that the actual uh, stream has over a video is you can actually have like an actual for both for both the viewer and the uh, and the actual uh, streamer. You do have that benefit of having that interaction, that immediate interaction. Like I could be talking to somebody right now if I was streaming the game right now. We could be talking about all sorts of things. We could be talking about the Jurassic Park movies, being giving our opinions, talking about how inaccurate the dinosaurs are to the fossil record. I don't care. As long as the dinosaur design looks cool and it works and it makes sense in the factor of, um, not realism. I don't want to say realism, but you know, as long as it works for the time. I'm not saying it has to be perfect, as long as it works. I don't want to go that way. I have to go that way. No, I don't. Grant. Their speed gives you power, I'm sure. Grant. Use nerve gas. Grant. That's actually something they left out of the uh, the movies. Is that uh yes, they actually go track down the uh the raptor nest in order to uh 
Because it like they know the dinosaurs are breeding. They have to figure out how many there are so that way they can uh deal with it. Anyways, that's one way of getting into the raptor nest. I'm not taking that route. We're gonna go from the uh, the northern entrance. I prefer the northern entrance. Don't go that way. Don't go that way, me. You remember what happened last time you went that way. Bad things happened. We got them all, hooray. All the eggs have been found. We're gonna go in through here. This is the actual maze. And I can make it less of a maze if I was using a shotgun instead of uh, the rocket launcher because I'll know where I've been because uh, I'll be leaving a pile of corpses behind. It's just kind of funny how this is uh, um, You see rocks. You 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 walk into a, a cops a, a cusp of trees. You expect to be in like a jungly walls, but instead you're greeted with uh, rock walls and stuff. Yeah, because what happened was a lot of the raptors were actually hiding out. They were making their nests in the service tunnels, which... In the book, anyways. So... Hello, just what I need. Hey, there's the nest! Nerve gas deployed. Vacate immediately. I'll go as fast as I can. Yeah, when I was at the first time I played, when I was first playing this game and I was trying to navigate this place, I kept getting lost. Like, it took me a while to find the raptor, the, the egg section, and then it took forever for me to find my way back out because I would keep making these wrong turns. The limitations of a Super Nintendo, you can only shoot one rocket and you have to wait for it to explode first. And I would keep getting twisted and turned around. This is not the way to go, probably. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll find an exit. Must be on the other side of a wall. Hey, I found an exit. Hey, we did a full circle. Excellent, right? I did my job. Grunt. Shut down the power. Use the ship terminal to contact the mainland for help. Back to the boat. Banana now. Banana now. Banana now.
Ba 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 that took a lot less time than I thought it would. Childhood trauma of being lost in the the raptor nest for hours, hours. And then I go in, I get in and I get out and what? Seven minutes, maybe. All right. We have one. All we have to do now, go to the boat. Call the mainland. We got to go back down to uh, sub-level four. The crew area. And access that one night room. Night, night, night vision goggle room and access that terminal and then uh, we're out so if you really want to know this is what tear gas looks like I don't know if some things require more tear gas than others I don't recall don't ask I don't remember Kind of works, but it's got that arc. Uh, when you're when you're when you're when you're uh, third person and first person, it's got that arc. So I don't know if it'll like stop and hit anybody if it like unintentionally hits anything. But like in the overworld, if it does, well, if it's still soaring through the air and it hit contact something, it will stop and immediately disperse the gas. Yeah. Oh, straight. Down one floor. Exit. Sub-level three, got it. To the right. Through this door. To the left. <clears throat> to the right. Through here. Now, we need to swap the gate back to number three. That way we can actually get to the helipad once again. And now we approach the end game. We're, we're in the end game. All we have to do now is go to the helipad and we win. Helipad and we win. Winners, baby! I think this is my fastest clear of this game. Of course, I, uh... I, I have a... I have notes to help. And it also helps that I did play this, um... When was it? Last year? So, it's pretty still fresh on my mind. Oops. Wrong way. Like, the only thing I didn't remember was that, oh yes, you absolutely need to go do the clearance thing first before you can access the last two levels of the boat. Sorry, game. I forgot that bit, and I didn't write it down because I'm a big dum-dum. I honestly thought... I honestly thought it was for... Uh... The one room that we needed to contact in order to call a helicopter. 
My bad. I'm trying to think of this logically. If you were to try to do Ellie Sattler's card first to get to the Raptor pen. You would have to come all the way to the boat. You would have to come to the boat. Get Wu's card. Go all the way back. Uh, go all the way to the lower left. Get Nedry's card. Go to the visitor center. Get security clearance level one. Get Hammond's card. Get Grant's card. Go to the raptor pen. Well, actually, you don't need to do the raptor pen, Matt. Um, cancel that. Strike that. Then you have to go all the way back to the boat <clears throat> and get security clearance level two, and then travel down to the third that sort of sub level and get Ellie's card, and then go back to the visitor center. Right. Well, it's time to leave. Velociraptors that way. No, they're all over the place, game. Whee! Alright, you guys ready for the most exciting ending for a video game ever? Congratulations, you have escaped Jurassic Park. Wasn't that amazing? Yes, the ending is also very lackluster. <laughs> oh well. I mean, even, even the Sega Genesis version, when you left, then the helicopter took off. You had the T-Rex go like, "Rar, rar! I'm gonna eat you, helicopter!" See, I told you the soundtrack is really awesome. Check out my high score. I did better than Chris by twice. Excellent, right? Well, this has been Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo. Thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now.